drugs, alcohol, guns, suicide. This is what most adults and parents think when a young person dies. However, the leading cause of death for all children, teenagers, and young adults in the United States is motor vehicle crashes. Drivers under the age of 25 make up 13% of the licensed drivers in the U.S., yet they cause 28% of the crashes. In fact, an average of 30 young people are killed every day in the United States in these crashes. This is the equivalent of a large commercial plane of people every week. If an airliner crashed every week, how many people would feel safe to fly? Too many of our young people are not living to fulfill their dreams. This is unacceptable, and more must be done. As the recognized national leader in driver training, the National Safety Council has committed its resources to reducing the number of young people killed in car crashes on America's roads. We have carefully evaluated all available data on the 15 to 24 year old age group. There are many different viewpoints on the various causes and contributing factors as to why young drivers are involved in so many injury and fatal crashes. However, one glaring factor comes up in virtually all collected data. Decision making, or the inability to make good decisions, plays a role in virtually all teen fatality crashes. There are many driving courses that teach basic mechanics, handling, and rules of the road. However, there is only one course designed for the 15 to 24 age group that teaches skills in decision making, attitude, and consequences. That course is the National Safety Council's Alive at 25 program. The Alive at 25 program is a minimum of four hours of classroom instruction facilitated by a trained and certified instructor. The course is divided into four sessions. To start the course, the instructor gets to know the students through an ice-breaking activity. In the exercise, students share personal driving experiences and what they feel is so hard about being a safe driver. That is followed with an activity where students are asked to make a list of the top six reasons why they feel so many people in their age group are being killed in car crashes. Through this exercise, it is revealed that young drivers and passengers already know the contributing factors that cause most of their car crashes. They will include alcohol, drugs, not wearing seat belts, speeding, and others. By the student making the list, not the instructor, the course forces them to be honest with themselves. They do not need the instructor to tell them why they are in so many car crashes. They already know. Later in the course, students take part in a video exercise where they evaluate the behaviors of other drivers and passengers in their age group. That is followed by a discussion on drugs, alcohol, and underage drinking. Other common hazards such as not wearing seat belts and tailgating are also covered. In an effort to try to get young people to understand the consequences of their actions behind the wheel, Alive at 25 takes a new and innovative approach. It is a failed analogy to believe that young people will be concerned about the consequences to them when they make bad decisions in a vehicle. However, young drivers and passengers can be motivated to make better decisions when the impact to everyone but themselves is brought to their attention. What happens to their parents, siblings, family, and friends are emphasized and discussed. Paul and Brandon would be devastated to know what, the, what this has done to us. And I think that if, if they had known that putting a seatbelt on would have saved us from this year of hell that we're, we've gone through and all the many years we have ahead of us, they'd have worn their seatbelts. The course culminates with a role play exercise where students get to put themselves in real life situations. Finally, the students are asked to make a commitment to change. Throughout the course, emotional and thought-provoking videos are used to emphasize important points. The National Safety Council's Data Management Center, DMC, provides management and oversight for National Safety Council driving courses in at least 16 states. Their services include instructor contracting, instructor payroll, data sharing with city, county, or state agencies and courts, student enrollment, and periodic surveys. The Alive at 25 program has many different implementation sources, courts, GDL, legislative, high schools, colleges, and as a resource for parents. We have given you an overview of the problem and the best resource to fight the problem, the Alive at 25 program. The National Safety Council wants to partner with like-minded organizations who wish to join us in our commitment to saving lives of our nation's young people. Together, we must act. 
To learn more about the Alive at 25 program, how to become an instructor, or how to become a training center, please log on to the National Safety Council's website at nsc.org.